So I think Landry today we're going to talk about the hit open strike drill. <laughs> Open kick ledge, I want to help you athleticize every part into your fight. Uh, I want to show a little bit of Wing Chun stuff uh, <laughs> as a prelude to the Francis Fong seminar coming up soon here at Dollar Martial Arts, October 7th and 8th. And we'll just take it away. Yeah, all right, sounds good. So, hit open strike, we can be in reference position, okay? Now, from here, now remember what reference might represent. It might, it just represents a moment in time. Let's get right away into hit open strike and let me, then let me show you what I mean. So, I'm with my partner Roy right here. What I want to do, his arm it represents a barrier right now. I'm trying to get in with, let's say, a lead strike or a punch or what we call chung choi, right? So our, our battle fist, our battle punch. From here, I need to remove the barrier. There's different things depending on the energy that I'm receiving. If, if it's not pushing toward me too much, I can pox out from here. So I can slapping hand and deliver a sat sao, knife hand strike from here. If I find the line, I can take the line with my tan sao and then my free right hand right here will pop and finish with a palm strike, a jing jern. All right, so let's do that again. So from here, pak sao, sat sao. My wedge, in this case, can be a tan sao, could be a bu jong sao, could be a bu sao, doesn't matter. From here, I strike, all right? And then Roy, go ahead, sir, whenever you're ready. So pak sao, sat sao, tan sao, and boom, hit open strike. Now, what did I say? We talked about how reference position, it, it, refer, it, 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 um, it represents something. So we don't start here in the fight, right? We might have been out here. I might have maybe tried to strike Roy with a lead strike, or maybe I was here and I just went with a battle punch this way. He presented his lead barrier, so I tried to now answer the question, right? So we're trying to answer the question from here. So from here, that's when perhaps I would go into something. That's what that represents. Hit open strike is really important. I think Sifu Fong really emphasizes it because it employs several different things. You can work on Pak Sao Da, and Da just means any sort of strike. In this case, Sat Sao. The Sat Sao actually draws his hand across the center line, which allows me to wedge right in. Once I wedge right in, I'm almost trapping him. If he's not quick enough, that's why I can, I can strike right away. Hit open strike. Also go. Cause we know we can always get this. Yeah. So sometimes yeah, yeah. we work into that. A yeah, let's just show that a little bit. Sure. Yeah, yeah try it. Go. You say do that one. Yeah. If you go back down. You yeah, you're control. always monitoring. See who okay. That's something he'll always talk about. Yeah. Because he'll notice guys kind of just going like this, but he's like, no, you got to monitor. You yeah. got to monitor. The other hand has to monitor. Yeah. So it might be just the elbow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's much more efficient the way it. Because if I this feels terrible, yeah, in my opinion. So if you use elbow, yeah, yeah, but now, one one of them will go. Uh, watch, if I go here now, this one's fine. Yeah, yeah, but this one shouldn't go back like that. So far, so yeah. yeah. All I'm doing is the elbow is monitoring here mm -hmm. as I'm striking, but then maybe this feed. So it can be constantly elbows, or one hand goes back to its original position, but that one won't because it's on top. And yeah, yeah. Feel weird. it feels really yeah. weird the first time you do it. Because, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Like, then you say, just come here. That's it. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, yeah, that feels better. This almost feels more forward, and that one can feel diagonal. Yeah, and that's called Fox. Just because of the way we're, our bodies are open, right? You got it. Um, one thing that I remember from another video I did is sometimes when that comes, if he goes deep, like he really wants to just destroy me, this becomes. Um, a little bit deep, right? So I, as the defender, the receiver, uh, have to have to re if he comes deep, you notice I take a little shuffle step back so that my structure is still intact. Uh, similar to the Kent Nelson video about um, holding the pads if I want to simulate a real pox out, right? Sometimes I want to make that space. Or, you know, if I stay here, he needs to do something else, right? Or it, kind of the energy of it will feel a little bit different. So it's kind of something to think about. Absolutely. Yeah, good uh, and lots of ways to work this, right? Like, I could be coming to him, and he puts up the barrier. He can still take it. And go in the wrong direction. Right, because it's a symmetrical position, right? right? The energy might not be symmetrical, but the structure is symmetrical. Absolutely. So sometimes, if I'm really forcing that jab, and I really want it, right? And, I, and I'm kind of like, oh, I'm going to muscle through this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at these arms. I'm going to muscle through it. <laughs> and he just takes it, maybe with lops up, right? Or if I'm, if I'm hung up and just stuck there, he can take the strike as we talked about. So lots of ways to look at it. Um, again, these principles can be applied across many arts, as we said in the last video. And I think 
it's really cool, you know. Um, a lot of us who practice different styles, you can take a more Wing chun -y view of things, or you can take something that's more pure to whatever it is that you do, or some hybrid of the two that works for you, right? I find, just because I don't quite frankly practice it enough, <laughs> uh, for certain things I'm comfortable with it, for others I'm not, and that's not a limitation of the art, that's just the way I choose to express it, mm -hmm. right? So if you're interested in having something I'm going to say highly theoretical as, as a foundation for your understanding of movement and structure. Uh, I highly recommend you checking out Wing Chun while still keeping your mind open to all the other arts that are out there, which again is partially why we love Sifu Fong so much. Yeah, agree. So in the meantime, this is Royal Kick Legend. Keep your chin down, elevate your striking. Mm -hmm.